Hey guys, in one of my past videos, I mentioned that there was another way to get your data from your ECM rather than using a $500 CTS monitor or whatever. And in fact, mine's crapping out on me now. But I mentioned the uh, little app that you can get free off of uh, the Play Store or uh, you can pay 10 bucks and get the pro I, I think it's still 10 bucks it might be less I don't know when I bought it about two three four years ago it was probably about uh, it, I think I paid ten dollars for for the pro and I still I, I still got it on my phone in fact I took it off and then I put it back on and stuff N never was really crazy about it but after thinking about you know some of you guys are just looking for uh, watching your shutdown exhaust temperatures and maybe possibly tell them when your truck is in regen. I think I, I, I might have the answer for you here. Uh, after I mentioned it, I went ahead and ordered this, uh, this little Bluetooth transmitter. Now, it works flawlessly, and I'll show you in a minute, but look how long it is. It's almost an obstruction down there on my, where I put my foot on the brake. Now, it, it hasn't been a problem, but it's 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 too long. You know, they make them. It's just a little, little bitty that long. Uh, there it is right there. Hopefully you can focus in on it. And then you come over here to your... I uh, want to make sure I bypass all my porn sites. Just kidding. Okay, so... That's what it looks like when it comes up. Right there, okay? Okay, so the one that we're most interested in, you see it has a little it has a little rotisserie thing here. Where you can roll, it has a map, it's got some grafting things, and I'm gonna let you play with that if you decide to get this because honestly I'm not an expert on this, believe it or not. So there, there it is right there. There's my, my simple, this is my simple setup for the, for the guy that all he wants to do is know that his truck is cooled down properly and that uh, he'd like to know, know just through curiosity that he's in regen. Okay guys, here we are out on the highway. I'm doing a little bit better than 70 miles an hour. Just got up there less than five minutes ago. But you can see the uh, temperatures are almost the same. Now on the left hand side I've got the DPF outlet which is to me should be on the right hand side. And I, if I set this up permanently I'd switch it. On the uh, right hand side I've got the uh, exhaust gas temperature. Uh, and that's the one you'd watch you know, while you're cooling down. And, and uh, this thing's got a whole bunch of different uh, setups you you can put on it's got a bunch of probes up and down the exhaust pipe so you can set up any probe you want to look at but those are the two most common ones that tell you to me give me there they are there it gives you the most information there's uh, some other stuff boost and different things uh, most of that stuff looks pretty good the uh, DPF pressure does not look accurate to me it reads out Oh, anywhere it's from like uh, 10 to uh, 100 psi, and you know that's ridiculous. So I don't know, I don't know what that is, but uh, the temperatures look good, like like those right there. Now you can see I came back to an idle there, so we're, we're basically cooling down at that point. Uh, the left hand side is going to stay higher. That's your DPF outlet. It's going to stay higher because you know you've got that heat trapped in that. DPF container which is good because it's burning off heat until it gets way down there uh, burning off soot until it gets way down there uh, below 400 at that point it's burning off so little it's uh, insignificant but um, that's the way this thing works uh, it's got a lot of other features to it that I'll probably never use it's got some mapping it's got some mileage checking uh, it does have uh, code checking uh, I don't know if you can clear codes with it or not I'm not sure about that but it 
but you can check for fault codes. Um, you know, it's for 10 bucks, I think it's worth it. Uh, this screen right here, anything on there that's green, you can turn into a gauge. You can make a gauge. You see all the green stuff? Those are the things you can you can use as a gauge. The other ones, you would have to have a, uh, a special data set written to make those things work. And there's a lot of people out there working on that. Uh, unfortunately, my phone has to be uh, jailbroke or rooted, as they call it, for me to be able to load those uh, custom uh, data sets that people have designed. So right now, I can't use it at this point. Maybe at some other point. But I uh, just wanted to show you this guy. Guys, uh, appreciate you watching, and until next time, adios.